bathroom, could you please say your name and age? Catherine Wheelock. How old? 42. When she was quite little, she was quite slow with uh, walking and probably talking and things like that. And she was referred to a specialist who called her a clumsy baby to start with. But then we realised she wasn't probably progressing as quickly as possible. She's now diagnosed with mild cerebral palsy, which affects her in quite a number of ways, um, particularly with balance to start with, so she would fall over and um, her left and right side don't work very well together. The jobs earn now, she can pretty well do everything. She can do it on a par with uh, able-bodied people. It's great. She can get on the horse and she may not walk over the ground very well, but she sits very well on the horse. She can show the horses off. She can go into um, able-bodied comps now and hold her own. And yeah, so she has a lot of respect from a lot of people. Do you carry the rest? Obviously, initially when we started, it's very much about building up a rapport, you know, and trust. Um, because, you know, Carl's having to believe that what I'm telling her to do with the horses is, is like within the horses, um, you know, ability as well. Because, you know, and at the end of the day, they're not bikes. He's often incredibly dedicated to it. So. Um, it's very much a focus is on is on that. I think probably a riding is probably easier for her than a lot of other tasks in the day, and it, and it actually gives her a, a, a heck of a lot of pleasure. The horses are incredible with Catherine as well. She has a a, a real sort of um, they, they seem to very much be gentle around. Like they'll be rude to me, and then they'll step around, won't they? They, they seem to have a, a respect um, uh, for Catherine. And, and the dedication and the time and, uh, and Jan, you know, who's, who's there constantly supporting and looking for the, and a sister and, you know, it's, it's all the support around her really that, that helps to, it's a team, very much a team, a team effort. I do a lot of work with Riding for the Disabled and we found many, many times that the horse seems to understand the people, like the judges' uh, comments have become more and more about the partnership of herself and Fly. They just have an understanding between them. The main challenges for Catherine, I think, have been to be accepted um, by everybody. And uh, because she uh, has worked hard on the riding, she's overcome quite a lot of these difficulties. We really didn't feel she'd even ride a circle for ages. And, uh, and then suddenly, the shape suddenly comes, and it all progressed from that. So she has overcome a lot of challenges to actually ride at the level she does. Ah, good. Little feel on your outside rein, really tall, Carl. She does get frustrated sometimes when she wants something to work and it doesn't, you know. We do get a bit fed up, don't we? One of your aunts yeah. does things you don't want, and, uh, and that's a bit frustrating sometimes. And I, I think Catherine's riding has, has just got better and better and better. You used to be a lot more crooked, didn't you, yeah. Catherine? But now, you know, it's like you can't, the, the hands are really good, and obviously we've got aids to, to help with that. Fairly near the beginning when she was riding for the Irish team, uh, we went to Harper in Gloucestershire for the um, World Disabled Championships and she was ninth in her class in the world. There were probably about 25 horses there, something like that, in her class. The year after that, she won at Harper at one of the internationals. She went to Beijing on a pre-Paralympic uh, camp. They only selected one Irish rider, so Catherine was basically the reserve. We turned back from Para and came back into able bodied riding and realised that she could actually compete really well um, up to elementary level. And everybody was staggered, I think, how well 
she she did and how well she could do now.